learning students how are you all i hope you all are safe at your home as we all know that due to worldwide spread of the disease known as covid 19 which is caused by the virus known as corona we all are locked down at our home and that is also for our own safety but what i am going to talk about today is completely opposite of it it is human migration as we heard this name the first question which rises in our mind is what is migration so uh, basically migration is the movement of people from one place to another with the intention of settling in the new location it can be temporary or it can be permanent also now let's see what is given in your book so migration is the systematic or regular movement of people from one place to another and migration is linked to mankind since ancient time as we all know that early man used to be a wanderer he used to wander from one place to another in search of food and shelter the settled life began only after the man become a food producer and when he started growing crop on a piece of land what he observed that after some time the productivity becomes low uh, that may be due to the uh, exhaustion of the fertility and so uh, he used to abandon that piece of land and move to the new piece of land for growing the crops and this movement of uh, abandoning the piece of land and then moving to the new piece of land for the crop cultivation is known as shifting agriculture and the migration is not only linked to a mankind only it is also uh, linked with the animals as the uh, in animals the animals used to migrate move from one region or habitat to another uh, due to uh, breeding or uh, so that they can grow and sometimes even in the search of food or sometimes due to extreme weatheric conditions so next is migration in olden times uh, in early times migration is carried out within a limited area only as there were uh, lack of mean of transport people used to walk carrying their good and they were also scared to travel far away places the reason behind uh, this was there were many myths there were many superstitions and uh there were this uh, orthodox thinking among the people that if they travel across the sea then they will uh, lose their caste as according to mythological stories ocean is a resting place of gods and if they travel over the uh, sea the god will get disturbed but this orthodox thinking underwent a great change with education logical thinking and contact with other countries not only this uh, during british period uh, indians were encouraged to migrate so that they can work in the british uh, colonies uh, many of the indian used to sign agreement uh, to go to the uh, to go to abroad for fixed tenure and uh, many of them choose to come back but few of them also choose to settle in the foreign land permanently so migration is something which is being practiced from ancient time uh, earlier people used to be a bit of scared to travel due to different myths and uh, due to lack of knowledge also but present scenario is completely different from the earlier one now people love to travel and people used to migrate uh, due to numerous reasons and as we discussed earlier that the reason behind the people migration is jambo jambo stands for uh, job it can be education the reason can be marriage uh, it can be business the occupation of the peoples or the uh, weather condition of that particular place so this is about the migration that's all for today and tomorrow we will discuss about the different types of migration till then stay at home stay safe bye bye take care